Semantic ET200 SP Open Controller, also in its second generation, combines the functions of a software controller with visualization, PC applications and central IOs in one compact device. The PC-based version of the already installed and pre-configured Semantic S7 1500 software controller is used for the control system. And the new generation with the CPU 1515 SP PC2 of the Open Controller is once again offered as a bundle in various versions. In this, the hardware and overall scope of functions is identical for all versions. You can choose between a standard version, a failsafe version, a technology version, and a technology failsafe version. With the standard or failsafe version, you can also choose whether the bundle should include visualization or not. New with this generation is the technology bundle, which offers you extended motion control functions, such as synchronous functions, actual value coupling, camming, or technology objects for control of kinematics with up to four interpolating axes. Let's take a look at the basic equipment in a bundle. First, we have the basic unit with a mounted and pre-installed CFast card. The pre-installation contains the 64-bit operating system Windows 10 Enterprise and the Somatic S7 1500 CPU 1505 SP in the ordered version. That means also standard, failsafe, technology or the technology failsafe combination. What's more, we offer a strain relief, which you can mount on the left side of the open controller, thus allowing for a vibration strength up to 2G for your cable connections during operation. The server module closes the peripherals on the open controller. And last but not least, we also have a document package. This includes the license certificate of the operating system, a restore stick, various forms of documentation, and for some bundle variants, another license stick. So, what about the technical specifications? The hardware is run on a 1.6 GHz Intel quad-core processor, offering 8 GB of RAM. On the left side, we have a display port for connecting a monitor. In addition, we have four USB ports, two with USB 2.0 and two with USB 3.0. On the lower left is the integrated Ethernet interface. Next to it is the slot for the bus adapter, which is not included in the scope of delivery. With the bus adapter, you can adapt the open controller to your precise automation task, which is why it is necessary for you to select and order it yourself. In the middle are four LEDs. On the upper three, you can see the status of the software controller. The lower LED indicates whether the open controller is connected to voltage. On the right side, behind the sealable cover, you find the 30 GB CFAST card, which is your mass storage for the operating system, the installed applications and the project. In case the storage space is not sufficient, you can also implement an additional drive using the lower right-hand SD MMC card slot. Located between the two card slots, we also have the operating mode selector switch. But enough of the theory. Now, let's take a look at commissioning, using the technology failsafe bundle as an example. So what do we need in terms of equipment for commissioning? A monitor, a keyboard and a mouse and naturally, the matching power supply. First, we make a few basic settings such as country, language, keyboard layout and time zone. Then we accept the legal notices. Then the system reboots. After rebooting, a user account first has to be created. This involves the administrator account. We assign the proper name to the account and generate the corresponding password. Then comes the actual configuration of the system, generating the relevant data. You must not switch off the open controller during this phase. After an additional reboot of the system, the Windows desktop appears after a short time. From now on, the system is running under the operator user profile, which is set up without a password. 
What else is important to know about the second generation? Now, you can also expand the open controller with all available bus adapters, in addition to the full product range of the Simatic ET200SP and AL family. And now you can use the C-Sharp programming language in the development of Windows applications with the Simatic ODK 1500S Open Development Kit. You can find summaries on all additional tasks with the Open Controller in a Getting Started series, available in the Siemens Industry Online Support portal. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.